So I want to talk about something that I'm calling attention shift. Now, attention shift is um, basically a shift in the control of the match. Uh, say, for example, you're on the bottom, you're struggling, 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 you sweep the person, you're on top. Okay, that's a tension shift, right? So now the person on top can start applying pressure. Now, these tension shifts could be drastic, like going from the bottom to the top, or they can be very subtle in what I call a configuration shift. So let me explain. So, normally, when you're in side mount and the person has your neck and has your arm, he is in control. He's the one that dictates the pressure. He's the one that drops the weight. He's the one that crushes me with his head. He's the one that drops the shoulder. He's the one. Why? Because he has gravity as an advantage here. Gravity is where he's generating his tension. So what we need to do is offset gravity. We have to be able to somehow control his gravity and make it sustainable over time. Now, the way I'm going to be able to do this is quite simple, right? So in this case, I can use the staple. I move myself up, move myself under, or move myself up. And I can start to now shift my arm underneath his armpit. And now I start to generate tension with my underhooking arm, okay? This right here is a shift in energy, right? This right here is a shift in who is generating tension. Because no matter how much weight he puts on me now, I can, by elevating here, I can start to dissipate his weight and make him become hovering. I call it hovering. But I am controlling the hover from the bottom. So the difference in the mindset between, relax, between here and here is cataclysmic from this situation. This one configuration shift, the shift was going from here to here. This shift, this one simple um, change in configuration, completely changes the dynamic of what's happening now. Now, when I do this, it makes his thinking, based off of what he's feeling, completely change. The focus in his mind has now completely changed. Okay? So, something so simple, right, as making this battle difficult for the guy on top. Because remember, the second we're going, He's trying to drop weight, and I'm trying to adjust. I'm looking for any opening to get my arm in. Once my arm is in, my friend, I'm not saying you're going to win, that you're, not, that you're never going to win, but winning is very hard. For him to regain this underhook is very hard. He's got to clear the elbow, pull, and then the hand, boom, and now he can go under. He's got two obstacles to regain what it took me to gain in one, with one shift. And now, you're able to work with the underhook, you're able to fight the underhook, maintain the underhook, and the shift in the, 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 the there's an energetic shift in thinking. You go from, I have the person to crap, oh crap, in one step, very simple. One adjustment, one configuration shift, can change what's happening very easily. And it's incredibly powerful. So understanding where these shifts take place is something that I'll be, be discussing in the future.